ba? Medyo nag-prepare ako para sa inyo. Kahit very minimal lang, pero at least meron. As promised, I'm sharing with you guys a few Halloween treats recipes that I've learned throughout the years. They're very, very simple. And the reason why I'm sharing with you guys really simple recipes is because I want to I want you guys to be able to make them with your children or your kids, your younger cousins, or guys even friends. Uh para lang. But before we start, you guys, we have a very special guest. It's an Aman Pasabok sa Cookie with Geekai, so you're welcome. And she'll be helping me make these yummy treats for you guys. Okay? Hello. So guys. Beautiful cousin Ashley, uh, the ba patisha. We're both prepared for you guys for us coming way. <laughs> they make your ears. We tried. We tried a little bit for this episode. Um, but yeah, welcome. Thank you for welcome. having me. Welcome I'm to Cookie. So excited. Yay! <laughs> welcome to Cookie with you guys. So, like I said, she's my gorgeous cousin. Um, and medyo na pinita ko lang siya sumali sa akin today. Para mas masaya. So yeah, we'll start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's so today. Like I said, simple recipes. We're, we're doing a few sweets here and there, and then a, just a couple of maybe savory food. What I want to start with though is, we're gonna make the jalapeno mummy uh, Halloween recipe treat, whatever you want to call it. it. It became very famous, I think, during, I think last year, Halloween. I, used, I, saw, I saw the mummy, the jalapeno mummy everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, everyone's making them. So, why not make it this year again? Mas sarap talaga siya. I've tried them. You've tried them, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. They're really good. <laughs> They're really good. It's super easy to make. So, maybe we can start with jalapenos. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I'm thinking is, we're going to start with making the filling. Because it has a cream cheese filling. So, we're going to start with that. And I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. to help me with that. Of course. Let's start with I have we have leftover cream cheese, so might as well use this. Mm -hmm. Room temperature easier to mix if you have if you use room temperature cream cheese. Um, we're gonna eyeball it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we only have I cut out one, two, three, four, four jalapenos into halves. Uh, so it's just easier for us to make them. But yeah, this could make um, about oh yeah, no, math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight mummies. Uh, so yeah, enough nato for us for now. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna use regular spoon. Let's scoop in about. Oh, let's get here. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you within frame? Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do like okay. Now we're like three tablespoons. I'm gonna I'm going to include the recipes or the ingredients. Sorry, the ingredients down in the description box below, like I usually do. There you go. I think we can do or more. maybe a little bit more. We'll add a little bit more. So maybe like six tablespoons. And then I had parm. Oh, here. I have leftover Italian style um, cheese, shredded cheese. So we could add whatever you want. Honestly, the cheesier the better. So, but cream cheese is always the base. So we could add maybe all of that. Okay. Yeah, I think we have. So that's about, let me see. Like one, one, two. Three, I would say about what? four, yeah. Four tablespoons of the shredded cheese. Your choice of shredded cheese. My love. Mm, by the way, I didn't even ask how she was. It's because we're always together. <laughs> how are you? Excited for Halloween. What yeah. are you gonna be? Um <laughs> not sure yet. Not sure. <laughs> I know, I me mean, neither. It's hard this year. Right? Mm -hmm. I know, right? I, it's hard for everyone this year. I feel mm -hmm. like no one's really in the holiday spirit yet, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll make it special this year somehow mm -hmm. with these treats. Yeah. Yeah, right? We have some jack cheese squares and pepper jack. Pepper jack cheese squares and I think it's jalapeno pepper jack in our fridge. So I figured we could just use them and we're just gonna kind of pull them apart. and Because this is all mm -hmm. gonna melt. Well, we're gonna mix it, put it into our jalapeno halves and then bake them. So the cheese will melt anyway, the cheese mixture. So I guess we could just start pulling them apart. Mm -hmm. Last year, why don't you tell them what your costume was last mm -hmm. year? Do you remember? What was it? I remember it because it was epic. <gasps> you don't remember your costume? Yeah. Pam? Yeah. Pam, just Pam from the office. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. super cute. And I think I was just some lady Egyptian with, 
my wig on. <laughs> so cute. Aw, no, you were cute. She, it was, was super good. fun. A super fun Halloween. Right. With these treats, right. which you'll see at the end. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, okay. So, this is how it looks like right now. Okay. And then right after, once this is good and well mixed, I'm, we're going to go ahead and add them into our halves. So, my love, do you mind? Mm -hmm. As you're mixing. So, as she's mixing, I'm going to go ahead and open up our... Um, crescent dinner rolls is what you call it. You can buy this pastry or dough in any supermarket. Um, so yeah, pop it open and then cut them in thinner um, slices, I guess. Okay, that's gonna go around the jalapeno uh, treat that we're making. I don't know what you call this, but so yeah. Okay, perfect. So I have my crescent dinner roll dough ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, roll the dough and kind of, so I can have a, a new base for the dough and just flatten it and then mix uh, thinner strips. There you go. And then while we're doing that love, mm -hmm. do you mind if I ask you to cook the hot dogs? Mm -hmm. We have hot dogs right here, do you wanna show them? Yeah. So we have a few hot dogs over here and I'll show you guys what we're gonna make with them. But as I'm finishing up with the jalapenos, I'm gonna ask Ashley to cook the hot dogs for mm -hmm. us. Now I'm flattening my dough. Ashley's right there finishing up the hot dogs. See me? So yeah, just flatten a little bit of my my pastry here, my dough. And then I have my dough cutter right here. And just make a few strips. And hold on, making sure it looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just making strips like these. That should be good, again, going around the jalapeno treats that we were making. Jalapeno mummy. So yeah, now I'm done with my strips, you guys, right here. And what we're gonna do is fill our jalapeno halves with the cream cheese filling that we made. So really, as much as you want, but don't put too much because we don't want, we want to be able to wrap it with our strips of dough. So grab one of our strips of dough and then just completely wrap it. Okay. This is the fun part, you guys. This is super fun, just wrapping it. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so we are done with our jalapeno peppers right here. Uh, well, done prepping them. And now they're ready to go to the oven. I had my oven preheating earlier at 400 degrees. And so yeah, we're gonna put them in into the oven for about 10, no, 12 to 14 minutes. I'll check it in 14 minutes, no, in 12 minutes. I'll check it in 12 minutes, and then if it needs more time, then I'll probably add a couple more minutes. All right, you guys, so unfortunately, my special guest, special appearance on Shed this episode, she has to go, but I'm so happy she has graced us with her presence. At least, you can see her and her for a little bit. Say, my love. Yeah, thank you for helping me. Allow me to help you of with course. this, you'll, just for a little bit. You'll join me again next time. Yes, okay. Hello. She will join me again next time. I hope you had fun having her here. You guys comment down. No, let me know down in the comment section below, or let us all know and tell her nah, she joins <laughs> us again. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And I look forward to the finished products. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween <laughs> to you guys too. <laughs> so after that, now you're stuck with me. <laughs> Hi you guys, so I'm back. <laughs> As you've noticed, if you didn't know what you're saying, I now have a different shirt. Hopefully the lighting isn't too different, but I will be honest, I did have to step out a little bit. Life happens, you guys. Nothing too crazy. I just had to step out a little bit in the middle of filming, but it's a good thing because now our jalapeno, our mummy jalapeno treats have cooled down and now we can use our hands and kind of finish up the treats and add eyes. Yeah, uh, so yeah, let's continue. And also, my cousin Ashley that you've met uh, earlier have completed or has completed our hot dogs or finished cooking the hot dogs. So we are now ready to work on this right after the mummies, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is for each of these jalapeno treats or mummy treats, I'm gonna add first, I'll put like, I don't know how to put white, Let's start with white, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It actually, with Halloween treats, what's great about it is that you don't have to be perfect. Sometimes, for most treats, the uglier the better, because it's Halloween, you guys. Um, there you go. So now I have white. I don't know if you can. Our makeup guru, I have white 
white frosting on them, small white frosting for the base of my eyeballs. And I'm gonna use the, my purple frosting to put, uh, to add in the center of the white frosting that, that I've already added to finish the eyes. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, <laughs> but this is how they look like. So you guys, they're my cute little mummies. Look how wonky the other one looks. But I think they look great that way. So yeah, there's are simple jalapeno mummies. So we're gonna put these aside and we're gonna work on our sausages next. Right. So now, with these sausages that we have, it's kind of gross, um, but they're gonna taste great, you know? Uh, we're gonna make them look like fingers, like chopped, fin I guess, chopped fingers. Um, so with our smaller knife, I'm gonna go ahead and make, um, I guess a nail bed. So I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. so this is not too, oh, this is looking nasty already. Oh, I just gotta think that it's sausage and it tastes really good. But, so this knife that I have, it's not too sharp at all. That's why I'm handling it this way. It's not too sharp, so don't grab one that's really sharp just to avoid hurting yourself. And parents, I suggest that you do this and not have your kids do this, okay? Um, so yeah, look at that. Can you see that? So that's gonna look like the nail bed. Uh, so I'm just putting that off after kind of carefully <laughs> slicing it, but it's gonna start looking like that. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look pretty at all. And then I'm gonna just cut maybe a few more lines right here and we should be good. Oh my God, this is so weird. Oh. Okay, so we're done with our hot dog fingers and I'm gonna show you guys. They, they look pretty, yeah, not pretty, which is, I think that means I did a, my job right because they look pretty realistic, you guys. I mean, I'm not sure how chopped fingers would really look like realistically, but I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is probably one of my favorites. It, it just looks pretty Halloween-esque in my opinion. It looks terrifying. I'm gonna use um, sticks, right? Uh, barbecue sticks, I guess, and insert them in these so it's easier for the guests to, cut, uh, to eat them. So I'm gonna take one. Oh, they just look so weird. I'm gonna stick one barbecue stick on them and this is how they look like. Oh my gosh, I just have to show you guys my the little fingers I've made. Oh, honestly, who thought of these? Okay, these are the little fingers. Okay, so we're gonna grab our ketchup and use it as I guess kind of the illusion of blood. So that's not gonna be a pretty dish you guys but still good hot dog and ketchup we all eat that right so again just go crazy i'm having too much fun i love making these things because i feel like i'm a kid just playing okay doesn't hurt that they look pretty too Ooh. okay i'm just going crazy on this and just add blood like ketchup oh my gosh this is fun i kind of wish that ashy were still here with me i think he, she would have had fun I'm gonna add a little bit, okay. So I'm gonna show you guys, don't worry. I know it's kind of, you guys can't see, but that's kind of how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna do a zoomed in version, don't worry. You guys, that's kind of how it looks like. Oh my lordy. All right, so now that we're done with our savory, I guess, savory treats or snacks, we can now start with, I would say also the very, like probably the more fun part for me, because we're just, Playing around with sweets, and I, I have the sweetest tooth ever. Um, but I want to start playing around with all the goodies here. I have so many different sweets. I think that the, Halloween is the best reason for me, or excuse for me, to enjoy candies and just chocolate. So this part, I'm excited. And this is the part where you really want to involve your kids if you'd like to. Because easy stuff, we're putting chocolates and cookies and stuff together, that's the fun part. I have my board here with me. You've seen this before, probably my charcuterie video, but I've used this in the past. And this is very versatile. You could use this board for really anything you want. So now I'm actually gonna use this for our sweet treats, okay? And we'll decorate as we go. 
So what we're gonna make first is, I guess, I don't know what to call them, maybe sandwich, peanut butter and jelly, spiders, <laughs> maybe? Um, but I have Uncrustable, so this is great already because it's, it has the jelly and the peanut butter. But if you don't have Uncrustables, um, I just didn't want to buy more bread, but I this is what I have. But if you don't have Uncrustables at home, cut two white breads, you know, and uh, into like a round shape. If you have that, if you have any um, pastry cutter, you can use those. Or dough cutter, you could use that and make, turn them into like a round shape. And then put in between, put jelly and peanut butter. Okay, let's just like a PB&J sandwich. And then I have pretzel sticks. Okay, this is exciting. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. Okay, so pretzel sticks. So this is gonna be easy. Magalas ka lang. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna insert our pretzel sticks into our bread. I'll probably do maybe three on each, each on each, on each side ba. <laughs> okay, don't break it, but I'm gonna put three on each side. Oh my gosh. It's just so fun when like the vision comes together and you see it in person. Okay, so three on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and just puncture it with a stick. Um, so really, it, honestly, it could be a crab, it could be a spider, whatever you like. I'm hoping it would look like a spider, but it looks like this right now, okay, with its feet. And then what I'm gonna do is, remember our extra frosting, we have frosting, use it. Why not? Don't waste anything. Toy cooking ki kai, hindi tayo nagsasayang. Bawal magsayang dito. We don't waste things. Now I'm gonna put frosting for the eyes because we're gonna use chocolate chips. And in order for the chocolate chips uh, to stick, again, as the eyes of the spider, our makeshift spider, we need some sort of glue. So we're gonna use the white frosting that we used for the jalapeno um, treats. There you go. Oh, that is turning out so cute. <laughs> it's starting to look like a crab, but it could be anything you want. It could be a crab, it could be a spider. Use your imagination. I just think they're cute. Anyway, so okay, so I have my chocolate chip. I'm gonna put it on top. <laughs> it's so cute. Am I a child? I am. Leave me alone. It's fine. I'm a child. I mean, come on. Stop. Come on. I'm cute. So I'm gonna put the our little spider on this. You know what? I wonder if we add one more. Okay, so guys, I had to I had to add another leg because I just feel like it would look more like a spider. I don't know. Does that look like a spider? You tell me. As long as they're cute. As long as it's cute. <laughs> guys, the was not on cute nila. I made three of them. Okay. So now on to the next. I'm having so much fun. I'm just gonna say, uh, the next one that I love making would be witch hats because they're so easy to make. Okay, so with these witch hats, I buy these cookies. I guess they're called fudge, fudge stripes. Fudge stripes. They look like these. These would be great to use as the base or the bottom part of your witch hat. Sorry, right there. So I'll get one of these cookies and then I'm gonna grab kisses. There, regular kisses. And then, ito yung magiging tip, no? Which hat natin. This is gonna, this is super easy, you guys. And then, of course, we still have a remaining frosting. And for the witch hat, I wanna use yung leftover natin purple frosting. I think that'll be a lot cuter para sa witch hat, diba? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, susunod na ko lang yung hole. I'm gonna put frosting around it. And this is where the kiss, uh, the or the kisses would sit on. Yeah. Again, we're using this as glue. I kind of add a good amount, but if uh, once you sit the kisses on top of it, parang mahikita yung purple, yung color ng purple ng frosting yung. It's gonna look so cute. And then again, grab a piece of kisses, and then just put it on top. I'm cute talaga. Tignan nyo guys. See? So easy. It looks like a witch hat to me. And then the purple really elevates the, the look of it. Here are the witch hats, you guys. So cute. Yay. So guys, you finished the witch hats. And as you've seen, they look really, really cute. And they turned out really great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the brooms for like the witch brooms. And we have 
are Reese's cups, miniature cups, as the bottom of the actual brew. I don't know how to explain it. Pero may kita niyo. You'll see. Using again our frosting. I'll use the purple one again as the glue, just cause part of match the uh, witch hat natin. And then I'm gonna add a little bit, uh, uh, the center of the Reese's cup, and then tapos our stick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the pretzel stick. Yay! Hopefully they stand. Oh, actually, actually you might have to puncture it a little bit and push a little further para lang mag stasia. There you go! That's our wish broom! I'm gonna make a few more. Again, maybe about five. Para lang make a partner lahat ng hat. There you go, our witch brooms are done and they're sitting next to our witch hats, obviously. Now we're off to our, again, I guess another, Oreo spiders? No, they're Oreo bats. Oreo bats, I think that's what we're gonna make. We'll see. But with the Oreo bats that we're gonna make, I, again, once again, we'll use our remaining Reese's piece, uh, Reese's cups. That was our, I got us thin Oreos for the wings. And then for the eyeballs, we're gonna use our leftover frosting again. See, lahat ginagamit natin multiple times for this, uh, for for video. We'll take a Reese's cup. <laughs> Guys, feeling it. This is one of my favorite episodes for sure. I know I've said it multiple times, but I'm just having a lot of fun. So, uh, Reese's cup. Okay, so I grab an Oreo thin. Okay, one Oreo thin, and then I'm only gonna use the I guess the cookie side, but if my sumama cream, that's fine. Uh, might actually help as a glue. And then I put, I will put it all over the Oreo cup. We're gonna use again the frosting that we have to properly glue them. But they're gonna act as wings. There you go. Hopefully you can see them. So again, I'm gonna use uh, the frosting that we have as glue. I'm gonna use the white one this time, and then just add on the. Oreo cup doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. That boss should look like something like that. And then now we're gonna add with the same frosting that we've been using. We're gonna we're gonna make eyeballs again. Go. <laughs> Are these ugly? There you go, our little bats are not perfect, but who cares? There goes our bats, our Reese's cups uh, with Oreos. <laughs> not bats. They're not the prettiest, but on kit pa rin nila. So we're gonna move on to our apple, pe peanut butter and apple treats. And how we're gonna do this is that we're gonna make them look like mouths. At that point, peanut butter is a little and then some marshmallows, mini marshmallows as the teeth. Um, so yeah. It's easier to show you guys than to explain it. <laughs> I have two slices of apples. Three slices. I have three slices of apples. And then, <laughs> um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the peanut butter as a binder, and then we're gonna add our mini marshmallows. Again, I'm winging this. For example, I'm going to so it. Uh, I have my mini marshmallows over here. I'm gonna first grab my peanut butter, generously, Add onto your apple some peanut butter. Yawn. So now we're gonna add our marshmallows. I'm gonna add them standing up like this, okay? Vertically, I guess if it makes sense. And then tapatum lang natin. I'm gonna add as much as I can. Oh, this is starting to. I can actually see how this is gonna look like. So that's great. Ay, balik that guys. Okay, rewind. Lagay nyo dito sa, uh, sa curve side ng apple nyo, ng apple slice nyo. So it has to go this way. I was putting it uh, at the back. So now, in order to bind the, the top slice, I guess the top lip, grab more peanut butter. Pura peanut butter ni kamay ko ngayon, guys. That was... Are you laughing at me? Yeah. yeah. There you go! Tama ba? Kita niyo ba guys? Makalat siya pero... Yay! I... Oh shoot. It's so hard to show you guys. See? That's... 
And there goes our peanut butter and apples with marshmallow um, treats. Okay, so we finished all of our treats, our Halloween treats. We have our sausage fingers over here. We have our mummy jalapeno cheesy treat or whatever. <laughs> we have our witch hat, our witch brooms. We have our spider guest crab looking PB&J sandwich. We have our creepy apple and peanut butter mouth. I don't know how to call these, you guys. And we have our cute little bats. Uh, before we finish though, before we end this, I guess you could finish the presentation of this board. What I'm thinking is I have, I used some of my leftover Oreos and kind of just crushed them in a Ziploc. And we're gonna use them as, I guess, dirt. Hopefully they end up looking like dirt. So I'm gonna spread a little bit on the board. See, Barbie we can use everything. And then just go crazy again. Uh, don't be, don't try to be perfect about it. Because <laughs> yung point nito kailangan uh, messy para mas maganda tignan. Okay, now we have. A, I don't know if you can see again. I'm zooming a little bit. Ulit talaga ako. It's kind of hard for me to lift them. Baka mahulog. So there you go. And then I have my worms, my gummy worms. Ito may enjoy to mga bata. And then just I don't know, spread them around and put them on your board. See. Looks great. Um, and then, if you remember, again, from our charcuterie episode, we have the smaller board. And what I'm going to do is actually use this to place the jalapeno mummies. So, balan kayo, stack them however you want to lay them on your board. Or on a plate, really. A tray, wherever you want them. So we're done, you guys. Thank you again for joining me for this episode. I, I really try my best to get this out for you guys before Halloween. So advance, happy Halloween. I hope you find ways to enjoy Halloween this year, even if it's, I know, I know a little bit different, but try to have fun. Once again, please let me know down in the comment section below what else you want to see. I'm excited to do this again next year. So again, with different costume, hopefully, your Miss Balgong costume, <laughs> Figura, and, and other guests. So yeah, please like this episode, share with your friends and your family, subscribe to my, cha my channel while you're at it, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And what else? Uh, click on the notification bell for further updates. And yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see. Thank you for joining me. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Oh, you. oh my God. Give me the cat. I touched oh. the jalapeno peppers, and oh, I'm yeah, touching my legs. No, 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 no. Oh. That's not that. Oh. My face is burning. Oh. <laughs>